Hey, you could have watched this video a day early. Check out my Patreon for more details. How's it going, everybody? Mental instability, back again with yet another hot garbage pile video. And before you say anything, yes, I'm aware the lighting and the sound in this video is not great. It's not up to the usual standards. But guess what? We have to deal with it for this video. Can we do that? Okay, cool. Moving on. In today's episode of The Garbage Pile, we're going to be looking at this uh, <laughs> scuffed piece of shit we got back here. This is my second computer, which I have recently named Frankenpav. It's an amalgamation of a bunch of old parts and parts I bought off of friends and a case that my dad got from Goodwill for like $9. Just a bunch of garbage thrown together. Quite fitting for the garbage pile, wouldn't you say? It's also essentially an environment for me to test out different Linux distributions. So yes, I might possibly do videos on uh, Linux distro reviews. I, I can't confirm if I'll do that or not, but so far, the ones that I've tried out have been pretty cool. First things first though, we should talk about the actual parts that are inside this computer. It's got an ASUS Z170A motherboard, an Intel i7-6700K, 16 gigs of RAM, and an NVIDIA GTX 970. Yeah, maybe an old graphics card, but I've had that 6700K for like five or six years, maybe even more than that. And that graphics card was sold to me by a good friend of mine. Thanks, Jake. You're pretty cool. Uh, go check out his Instagram and his YouTube channel. There will be links down in the description. And the funniest thing is, when I first built this computer, it didn't have a graphics card. I didn't have a spare graphics card just to throw in it that was just sitting on a shelf somewhere. But because I had a computer that didn't have a graphics card, I had to get a little creative. Like, I couldn't run Yakuza Kiwami without a graphics card. That's madness. But you know what I could run? Emulators. This old i7 here, it's still pretty strong for what it is. It could run Dolphin and pretty much any other emulator I threw at it, no problem. Now, granted, I didn't try PS3 emulation, and you know, now that I finally have a graphics card in here, maybe I'll try out PS3 emulation, who knows? So I guess the moral here is to use more emulators? Look, I know the world kind of has a, a graphics card shortage going on right now, so if you're one of those people who doesn't have a graphics card, hey, you know, take it from me. If you got a pretty good CPU, just play fucking Mario Sunshine again, you know? that's Or if you haven't played Mario Sunshine, play it for the first time, it's really good or any other emulated game for that matter. Like I'm sure a solid CPU would be able to play any emulator you wanted, no problem. I'm essentially just repurposing my first ever PC build into something that I can actually enjoy games on. See, the problem with uh, working on YouTube and all these videos and everything is that you spend a lot of time on a specific computer, or at least I spend a lot of time on my computer because I gotta record videos, I have to edit videos, I have to upload the videos, make the thumbnails, and then after all that, I'm expected to just relax on the same computer that I've done all that work on. It gets a bit tiring after a while, which is why I'm totally comfortable to downgrade to parts that are years and years old if it means that I can finally just step away from that computer for like 20 minutes. And not only is the computer itself kind of a hodgepodge of a bunch of garbage that we threw together, this entire setup right here is actually just a huge hodgepodge of garbage. We got an old Ikea desk that I didn't use anymore after I upgraded to the one that I got in my room currently. We got my old uh, Monster Hunter World uh, desk mat right here that is a little small in all honesty, but it was the only desk mat I had laying around, so it's good enough. We got this Logitech G Pro wired mouse that I won from a contest a few years ago that I just never had any reason to use. And the piece de resistance, the greatest, the crowning achievement of this setup. We've got this Hewlett Packard just caked in filth membrane keyboard. I don't even know where it came from. I don't know how old it is, but my dad gave it to me and I just, he's got some old hardware. But you know what? It all works. This whole setup just works perfectly fine. And uh, you may also notice, I got a couch right here in frame. So currently I'm sitting on the most uncomfortable chair known to man. So <laughs> I'm not gonna expect myself to be able to game on this thing. So if I ever do game in this room, I usually just sit over there on the couch. And that's why you can also see a controller down here in the background. That's what I use to actually play video games. But what if I want to browse the internet and watch YouTube videos? What, does, is the cable long enough on this keyboard for me to drag it over to the couch and use it there? No, and the same with the mouse. The wire just isn't long enough. And I don't got any wireless peripherals just laying around for me to use. But you know what I do have? I got a Steam controller. So a while ago, a friend of mine told me that he likes to use the Steam controller to browse the internet while he's sitting on a couch or in his bed. And I thought, wow, that's actually a use case that I never thought to use the Steam controller for. And uh, let me tell you, it's actually more comfortable than you'd expect. 
it's so comfortable that uh, I was able to go into the terminal and type in a reboot command that I needed to do at the moment. And it really, it, it wasn't bad, you know? You would think that typing on a Steam controller really wouldn't be all that great, but yeah, they actually made it work. So there we go, yet another reason why the Steam controller is both the most underrated controller ever made and <laughs> one of the worst controllers ever made at the same time. I also got this old Corsair headset sitting around just in case I need to be on voice chat or whatever. I can pretty much play any game I want at this setup right now if I replace the chair for something more comfortable. But enough about peripherals and tools and controllers and things like that. I know what some of you sick fucks want. I know what you want to know about. You want to know what kind of Linux distro I'm using on this computer. Well, let me tell you. And the Linux distro that I decided to go with at the start was Linux Mint with the Cinnamon desktop environment. Oh, hi, Gizmo. Oh, hi, Gizmo. Are you here? Are you here to say hello? Here, jump on the couch, Gizmo. Oh, yes, it's Gizmo. I'll do a full review of Linux Mint sometime in the near future, but for the time being, I like it more than Pop! OS. I mean, I don't really have a whole lot of experience with using different distributions. I've pretty much only used Pop! OS at this point. But from the short time that I've played around with Mint, yeah, I, I like it a whole lot more. And that mostly just comes down to the Cinnamon desktop environment. I've said numerous times in the past that I'm just not a fan of Pop! OS's default desktop environment. And KDE Plasma, while it is really nice, it's also really unstable. I mean, granted, my system is really fucked up with all the customization I had to do with it to make all my recordings work, but it's nice to just have a simple, clean, easy to use environment like Cinnamon. There are other DEs that uh, Linux Mint comes with and I haven't tried them out yet, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna do the review eventually. I'm gonna save all that for the review that comes out later. So yeah, that's the new setup. Like I said, this setup wasn't intended to do any sort of content creation or streaming or anything. You know, ironically enough, I'm recording content from this setup, so bleh, whatever. It was never intended to be that, though. The intention was just to be able to sit down and play some video games and actually fucking enjoy them. And I feel like this entire setup achieves that very nicely. And, uh, I don't know if you notice, but I got... Uh, you can't read this over here, but that is Psychonauts 2 right there. I finally got access to Psychonauts 2, so uh, I'm going to be playing that, and ooh, that's going to be really, really fun. I can almost guarantee it. And when I've had my fun with Linux Mint, and I feel like I need to move on and do something else, hey, you know, I'm totally comfortable with erasing everything on this computer and starting from scratch. Like, I'm not really logged into anything other than my Steam account here, so... You know, it's not like I'm losing anything. No way in hell I'm logging onto my YouTube here on this computer when, you know, my sisters can gain access to it. Fuck that. <laughs> So I'll be toying around with other distros on this computer, and I'll definitely be making videos about it. I have no idea when I'll make those videos, but yeah, they're a possibility. I want to give a special shout out here at the end of the video to the patrons, otherwise known as the executive lads, because they give me money and help me, you know, not die from starvation. <laughs> If you would like to become a patron, uh, there will be links down in the description and at the end of the video where you can uh, read up on the different uh, perks you get by signing up, like bonus videos or behind the scenes stuff or the special shout outs you're seeing on the screen right now, and just generally a sense that you are helping out a small creator. But I know none of you give a shit about that, so you actually get bonus videos for signing up. And in this week's bonus video, yeah, remember when I used to do fucking bonus videos? Uh, we're gonna be toying around with Mint. We're gonna do a little bit of an exploration and we're gonna check out some pre-installed stuff. And we're gonna check out how the Cinnamon desktop environment works and just how generally I use this computer. It'll be fun, I think, just to toy around with Linux Mint. It's not gonna be a full review, but you know, I'll just talk about what I like about, about Mint and Cinnamon. Thank you again to the patrons. Thank you if you made it this far into the video. And uh, yeah, just... <laughs> Go do something else with your life, because sitting at a computer just kind of fucking sucks. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. It actually, it actually is night outside. I couldn't record during the day, so... Have a good night. <laughs>